and a warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On the program today... We see the latest inspirational works of art displayed at this gallery in Lagos. Then this artist is going solo as he presents his recent body of works. We see those strokes when Art House returns in a moment. Do stay with us. Our wordsmith for today is titled Be the Change by Ikechuku Okafo. I have been soul searching, staring at myself in the mirror. At past events, I have been pondering, dissecting life's issues, and observing as dreams of souls fades like the sands of time. We cannot go back to yesterday. We have the gift of today. We have the power of faith and belief to live and deal with a clean heart and bring others relief. Because at the end, nothing else matters. It all shatters into tatters. So just do your part to make the paths of your brother better. Inspiration is an awakening exhibition of contemporary works of art done by different artists at the Brilliant Brush Gallery in Lagos. Paintings and sculptural pieces with color and attention to details are set to greet visitors in this exhibition, organized by the Brilliant Brush Gallery in Lagos. This awakening show is to inspire Nigerians to keep hope alive regardless of the challenges in the country. These images are to motivate them to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The exhibition today is titled Inspiration and Awakening. And, um, what informed the title is basically, you know, seeing what was going on in Nigeria, the total dissatisfaction with a lot of people, you know, what we're experiencing as the people in Nigeria, uh, the challenges, the pain, the struggles, the disappointments, um, all sorts of things going on. People are not exactly um, quite happy. But we must understand that it is actually global. But I guess third world countries get hardest hit. Um, so we felt we should move that conversation away from that space and get to a point where we think, okay, come look at works, come look at art, artworks, and appreciate the artworks and travel or journey in this um, in this paintings. And then hopefully, um, in that travel, in that journey, we embrace something beautiful down the end. I want Nigerians to appreciate what the talents, the abundance of talents that we have here. We have um, a lot a lot of artists that have seen their paintings. I appreciate it, it's something wonderful. 
something that will you will see, you will have, and you have peace of mind. In a bid to make people elevated, excited and energized, the contemporary works of art feature pieces which have been part of the 10-year-old collection of the Brilliant Brush Gallery, exclusively created by African artists, the new and old in the game, in order to celebrate the talents of the continent. I've been collecting works for um over two decades now, uh, personally. And um, at a point, um, my curator at the time, or the guy who always um, consulted for me in terms of acquiring pieces, said to me, I've collected so many works, why don't you open a gallery? So that was how Brilliant Brush was founded some 10 odd years ago. And so for me, beyond just appreciation of art as an enthusiast, I felt the need to also promote our local artists. You know, I felt there was great talent, but they were largely unsung, and I had to give them a voice. And I felt my curator at the time said, well, you know, you have the connections, you have the reach, you have the networks to put them out there. So I carefully collect pieces with this on my mind very strongly and carefully pick what I see as real talents uh, within the African globe or space and uh, push that brand. So you will notice that all my works are African. I'm not trying to be European, I'm not trying to be American, I'm not trying to be uh, Asian, I'm doing African works. And I believe we have great talent within the continent and somebody has to put that message out there and hopefully we'll begin to see the Picassos, the Michelangelos and that sort of thing. And if I'm part of that story, that excites me. Well, a few have caught my attention. One is in Kechi. Another one is Usman, and uh, I think Ababiaka. Um, those three have got my attention. In Kechi's work, apparently she's quite dynamic with her expressions. I thought it was just the mixed media, but I've seen some that are like paintings as well. So that's one that I'm really interested in. pieces are nice, you know. Um, I think um, the curator has done, you know, remarkably well in um, coming up with the pieces. I can see a lot of femininity, which is important because I think we're becoming, you know, we're beginning to get to that point. Um, I find that even with, um, you know, women empowerment is a very is very important today, you know. So I like that he has put that into consideration when he was, you know, coming up with the pieces. It's, it's a good collection, very mixed, very eclectic in itself. Um, and I'm still taking some in. Um, very, very good collection, I must say, and I'm impressed. It's a wake-up call on the ability of art to inspire and speak to the audience's sensibilities, so the subjects on display are things they can connect to. Generally, I 
feel like every picture is a masterpiece. You can relate to it uh, when you look at it. Like I saw um, a picture that I loved here. My favorite picture here I saw is um, Fela Kuti. Um, I was a very big fan of him, and um, for me the picture speaks a million words. You know, I wear two hats. I've been a collector for years. So I've been on the other side where I'm purchasing works. Now I'm also selling beyond that space. I'm also selling works. So I use that my collector training and mind. So I pick works very carefully. So I promote artists that I feel have a lot of content, are deep, and I push that brand. So I know that they're going somewhere. And if people pick my pieces, Right? I believe that in the next five, ten years, who knows where this artist will sit. The one was of today didn't just happen. It took years of you know, journey to get to where they are today. So I believe that these artists all have you know, that potential, but somebody has to put them out there. I love what I'm seeing here. Over the years, in fact, it's like a it's wine that gets better every time. The, the older it is, the better it is. The idea of using an unconventional space is to make it connect more to the viewers in a cozy setting. I've often um, exhibited globally, locally, internationally. My choice areas have always been, you know, hotel lobbies, big halls and all those sort of thing. Then we started a conversation with um, Per Harbor SRS and we felt that they share the kind of brand we, we represent. You know, it's upscale, it's luxury, and that sort of thing. So um, we felt there was room for collaboration. And I felt that sometimes when you are in a hall and these paintings are sitting on easels, uh, you may not appreciate them so well. So the idea was to sort of like have a situation where, you know, let's bring it home, let's bring it to a living environment. And we got that conversation going and here we are today. And I think it's a wonderful uh, effect. People really appreciate it. People can sense, you know, the energy just by looking at the paintings within a, a home setting, they can actually feel. So it doesn't take away from the work, it promotes that. And I think there's a good complementary uh, relationship. So I have no regrets in making that choice. And I'm going to do it more and more. And I see ourselves doing a lot more in the coming years. So they're very talented and very, um, the art space is really picking up pace and there's a lot of, um, like I said, there's a renaissance going on in the art world generally and um, people are now beginning to appreciate local talents and even patronizing them in preference to the European ones and I think um, showcases like these are very good where artists are given an opportunity to showcase their works and um, even, you know, get their work sold, so it's a, I think it's good times for those in the art space. Art is more than life, because when you look at it, you know, picture, me and you can look at the same picture and tell different stories about it. So art is personal. The Brilliant Brush Gallery has been sourcing and promoting African talents for many years now, as one never knows who will become the next big name in the future.
nice one there. Now let's take a moment. When Art House returns, we see this artist who is going solo. Join us again. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. <laughs> Let's begin with Inivora Pio's acrylic on canvas called Believe. Then Eitayo Alagbi has the girl child done with mixed media on canvas. In Labour, the second in the series, is a watercolour on paper work done by David Udoka. Then Reconciliation is an oil and canvas work done by Felin Light. Trumpeters is a mixed media work of art done by Kunle. Then Tomiwa Adelagun has dreadlocks done with oil pigment on canvas. With that dreadlock team, Uko Inwek shows us an example of a musician who wears it, Lauren Hill, done with charcoal pencil on alabaster paper. Then lost in thoughts is what Gamma Bugama is showing us. He said he's been inspired by African women's style and dignity. Then Oge Marvelous is re-emphasizing the pride in Africa with this work called I Am An African Child, rendered with oil on canvas. concludes the works of art you sent in this week we always encourage you to keep sending them in and put your best foot forward always the true essence of art is first to cultivate the artist's own spiritual nature Donald Onuha presents his recent solo exhibition of paintings at the Gemini Art Gallery in Lagos titled Half Set. Take a look. The paintings done by artist Donald Onuha are uniquely created using his signature style so there's no mistaking it for another person's pieces as he makes use of roller brush with oil or acrylic on canvas to create intriguing artistic dialogues. I have a very unique pattern of painting. And all my, all, all my works, you know, if you look at them, they are different. Different textures and different, that's how I work. I work with every material that, that comes around me. talking about what he has been doing for over 50 years to this point, one. And two, when it comes to colors, 
you know, Donald or not, I actually have a name in the industry. And the way he actually uses cubism, he uses the color with cubism forms. You know, it makes it a lot different from what other people are doing. The artist presents different work of art in this solo show called Half Cent at the Gemini Art Gallery in Lagos, such as Mother and Child done with acrylic on canvas, which captures beauty, essence, and tradition. If you look at his works, you can see the, his movement. You can see that he's going somewhere. He's still, his prices are still undervalued. And uh, he's one, and it's one of the assets that I really, really respect because it's versatile. You can go up and down, and you can see all his works are not the same. And if you look behind you, right, this, this, this is one of the best work I've seen in a while. And the color, the way you apply his color. And you don't really see a lot of Nigerian artists that can actually maneuver the way he paints and the way he communicates with his canvas. Other images which explore diverse subjects with thought provoking themes that inspire the audience. The concepts that I see today, they are, you know, so different from the previous styles of his. The, the mixed media, how he juxtaposes the jeans materials with, you know, the impasto of uh, his. Um, the, the pastels of, of, of his work, is, they are great and they are excellent. So I'm so happy to see this exhibition today and um, the, the advancement in his work. My inspiration comes from everywhere. The everyday people. That's where I derive my inspiration from. The, one, the, the title of the one there, the, the way of the depth, simply means somebody that, somebody that deals with, with anything that comes out from the water. Like, norm, the main type, the main, the main um, definition of that work is a fish, is a fish seller. You can see if you check it properly, you see that the lady is a fish seller. But you know, in this, in this pattern, we, we, most, of, most of them, they disguise under selling fish, but there are, there are other things they do. Instead of telling them, this is what I do, they use another pattern to cover up. That each one of these works are not the same. They're definitely not the same. It's the, it's the, we should actually call, we can call him a master colorist. Because if you look at the way he applies his, his knife, and you can actually see the value. If you understand art, you must have one of his work, at least one. This gifted artist is a 1999 graduate of the Institute of Management Technology, Enugu, with a distinction in painting and a unique style derived from Cubism, an early 20th century style and movement in art, especially painting, in which perspective with a single viewpoint has been deserted for simple geometric shapes, interlocking planes, and later collage. <music> There's more to expect, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. On the next edition of Art House, we see our many colors and art salon and the Art Pantheon Gallery. Then we have an evening with artist Oluwale Mofemi at the Alexis Galleries in Lagos. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country.
Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House today. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Join us next time for another exciting package. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Stay safe and keep